We are live, and Kelly Schuberth has news in regard to Stormy. Somebody get Jeff some oxygen. <laughs> I do. Adult film star Stormy Daniels is talking to Vogue for a feature in its October issue. When asked to give more details about her alleged affair with Donald Trump back in 2006, she responded, quote, how many details can you really give about two minutes, end quote. Stormy went on to say Trump was interested in the porn industry, and it made sense because businessmen like to talk about business. President Trump denies ever having sex with Stormy Daniels. Sam? All right. Well, we know earlier when we spoke with Jeff, he did not want to hear Stormy Daniels <laughs> name yet again. What are your thoughts about this? I'm with Jeff. I don't want to hear her name ever again, to be quite honest with you. She had her two minutes of fame, I suppose, her, her limited two minutes of fame. And we're not talking about the other issues. We are, there's a story that came out today about an $84 million campaign finance scandal by Hillary Rodham Clinton. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about the stock market that surged yesterday because of a great new trade deal we're doing with Mexico. Nobody's talking about Bruce Orr and his wife and the fact that the FBI was leaking things to the press to get FISA warrants. I know that we're getting in the weeds on this, but I have to put these facts out there because here we are, another story about Stormy freaking Daniels when we could be talking about the real issues at hand well, that are making our country better by President Donald but Trump. But can you at least look at it from the point of view of Stormy in the sense that she was called a liar and she wanted to defend her character her because she didn't want to be called a liar. I think she signed again the waiver on her character a long but time do ago. You, but do you, just because she's an adult film star? Oh yeah. But okay. That's a legal profession. But, I don't, legal or not, it doesn't make it right. But that makes you judgmental. <laughs> but do you? Right? I, I have a right to do that. I have a right to an opinion. Uh, it is an opinion. It's not necessarily a, a judgment. It's an observation. Okay. <laughs> I would call that so, a judgment. Well, okay. If, the semantics, whatever you want to call okay. that. But I'm just saying, I, I think that a lot of people in the country don't agree with um, her profession and think that she was extorting Donald Trump. So. Mm -hmm.